Okay, guys, so um, what we're going to learn about today is um, dividing using a, a written algorithm, but it's a, it's a shorter version. So just imagine your um, question was uh, 1, 27 divided by 5. Okay, now there's plenty of ways to, um, to do this one, but let's try the simple algorithm or pen and paper method, some people call it. It's a little, uh, little simpler this way than uh, long division. So you're going to use the same process though. 1, 27. And you're going to set it up in, this, in the same long division table format, divided by 5. Okay, and what you're going to do here obviously is the first thing you're going to try and figure out is, is how many fives go into one, none. Some people like to put the zero up, so for this purpose let's put the zero up. It goes in zero times. Uh, so how many are left over from that? And that's what you've got to figure out. Easy. There's one left over. Five times zero is five, so you still haven't used this one. So next off, let's let's figure out how many fives go into twelve. So five times two is ten. That's the closest you can get. So obviously it goes in two times with a remainder of two. Five times two is ten. Here, bring your remainder over again in front of in front of your seven. Now it's twenty-seven. You're looking for how many times five can go into twenty-seven. Okay, um, some people get confused sometimes, think that you add the 2 to the 7, don't do that, okay, 5, how many times is 5 going to 27, goes in 5 times, remember, 5 times 5, you know what that is, 25, so obviously there's, there's a difference of 2 between 25 and 27, that's your remainder, remainder 2, um, doesn't make sense, um, this method if you're trying to trying to teach somebody that um that 127 can be split five times and it makes 25 with the remainder of two but uh, the method works every time um, and that's it